Hello again everybody, this is Gusto and today I will be reviewing a Danish 24 hour military ration. As you can see this is menu number 13 and this translates to chicken curry with pasta and I believe that this stands for freeze dry. On some of these packages you'll see wet right there and those typically contain retort pouches. So if we look on the exterior of the box you can see that it lists 3755 calories and here is the individual contents if you would like to translate that. Let's take a look inside the box. It's glued together with this little tab. And there's the contents. Let's take a look at those individually. First of all, this contains a package of fruit muesli with raspberries. Next, two packages of tuna. One is tuna, lime, and pepper, and one is tuna in water. Next, Chicken curry with pasta. Two packages of Bridgeford whole wheat bread. These are similar to the Swedish ration Bridgeford bread products. There is a package of raisins. A package of dried cranberries. Roasted and salted peanuts. A package of whole grain biscuits. A toffee flavored protein bar. A chocolate bar and it feels like this has been melted so it ought to be interesting to see what that looks like a package of peanut butter two packages of pate one is farmhouse and one is brussels pate there is a package of what's listed as apple porridge it's really hard to see on the silver packaging there but maybe right there you can see it a little bit can read a little bit better on this side. If you translate that, it does come out to apple porridge. Reading the ingredients, it does look like an apple jam of sorts. So we'll find out what that is later. But there are two tubes of fruit jam, so it'll be interesting to see what the difference is between this and this. There are three beverage packs. One is peach flavor, one is cocoa beverage, and one is lemon flavor. There's a fruit and nut bar package of spicy sauce, and an accessory pack which comes with the following items. Three packages of Colombian freeze-dried coffee, two black tea bags, two packages of sugar, three packages each of salt and pepper, three packages of gum, three antibacterial hand wipes, three toothpicks, two large spoons, and a toothbrush. So there you go. Rather large assortment of items here. Again, this supplies over 3,700 calories. So it would be suited very well for cold weather climates where your metabolic demand is higher just for keeping yourself warm, as well as limiting freezing of the items and having them as freeze-dried items. Of course, for the purposes of this review, I will split this up into three meals, and we'll go ahead and get started with breakfast. So for breakfast, here's what I've chosen. We have the fruit muesli with raspberries, the whole grain biscuits, the apple porridge, the fruit bar, lemon flavor energy drink, and coffee with sugar. Now this item I don't know a whole lot about. I can't find a lot of information about. This just shows a fruit porridge. Looking at the ingredients, it kind of looks like an apple butter or some sort of fruit spread. Taking a look at the main item, which is the fruit muesli with raspberries. There you can see the caloric content and the ingredients. This says to rehydrate with 100 milliliters of hot water and, and allow it to sit for five minutes. So there's a look at the dry contents. We'll add some water and mix it up. Give that a mix. Immediately a really nice fruity scent. Smells pretty sweet. We'll zip that closed and give it a few minutes. Next we have the whole grain biscuits. Oh, those look really nice. Those are really thick. Very coarse grains there. They look very good. Next, the fruit bar, and this is apricot, and it shows fruit and nuts. I 
there you go. Just looks like ground and pressed fruits. And this does list mostly dates and apricots, as well as cranberry and raisins. As far as the nuts, the only thing that it lists is apricot kernels. So that's interesting. Next we have the fruit porridge. And again, this is apple porridge. It's really hard to see the labeling there. Let me see if I can get it close. There you go. And from the ingredients, it looks kind of like a jam or an apple butter. It'll be a little bit of a mystery. And let's find out what this is. All right. It just looks like applesauce. That makes sense. We'll get that into a compartment there. Why I didn't think of applesauce, I have no idea. That makes a lot of sense. For the beverages, first we have the energy drink, and this is lemon. So there you go. White powder, typical of this brand. This calls for 500 milliliters of water, but again, this will only hold about 400 to 450 milliliters of water, so it'll be a little bit strong on the mix. Next, we have the coffee. Again, this is Colombian freeze-dried coffee. And since I have it, I will add a little bit of sugar. And we've given the fruit muesli about five minutes to rehydrate. So we'll take a look. There you go. We'll give it one more mix and get it onto the tray. It is a little bit soupy. And as you can see, you still have a little bit of dry bits in there. So we'll give that another mix in the tray and we'll get started trying all this stuff. And we'll start with the main item, which is the fruit muesli. And again, this is raspberry flavored. So there you go, the grains up close. Mm. And that is really good, really hearty grains. It's mostly wheat and oats. There are some little bits of freeze-dried fruit in there. You can see the raspberry right there. It's got fantastic flavor. It is fairly sweet, but it's not overpowering. It's a very nice, pleasant flavor. It'd be great for breakfast. Fantastic food item. I get asked a lot if I actually eat all this stuff, and the answer is yes. I try not to waste food. Most of the time, if I'm filming a 24-hour ration, I'm filming it over the course of the full day, so those meals are typically my meals for the day. Now, some of them are way too big for me and have been well over twice what I usually eat. I usually eat what I would usually eat, and I share some with my kids, especially the sweet stuff. But yeah, I try not to waste food. And I certainly will finish this. It's really good. Let's try the biscuits next. Like I said, these are really thick, dense, multi-grain biscuits. Try one by itself. And those are also very good. There's no sweetness or saltiness to them at all. It's just the straight grains that provide all the flavor of those. And I do have a pouch of jam, and we'll go ahead and try these on the biscuits as well. I was kind of expecting the fruit porridge to be more of an apple butter or something like that to put on these, but it turns out to be applesauce, so we'll just use the jam now. It looks like a mixed berry jam from the illustration there. Most of it is running onto my hand. So There's the jam. And that's very good jam. I think I've had this brand before in another European ration and it is very very good very true fruit flavor not overly sweetened and this adds just kind of a subtle fruity sweetness to the biscuits it's a good combination next we'll try the fruit and nut bar and as you can see this is just kind of a dense pressed ground fruit and nuts it's really sticky there you go in cross section and that's really nice. It's very dense as far as texture. The apricot kernels provide a nice crunch. The fruits are pretty smooth, uh, but pretty thick in texture also. And the main one that you taste is the dates. Fairly sweet, but kind of a natural sweetness. It's certainly not sugary, but very good flavor. Then we'll try the applesauce, or apple porridge as it's labeled. There you go. And it actually looks like a pretty coarse applesauce with some fairly good sized chunks of apple in there. 
Wow, that was different than I expected. Actually, this is more like an apple pie filling more than anything. I don't know if this is the right application for this, if this is intended to be used a different way, but it's very sweet. There's some cinnamon in it, it looks like, and I can kind of taste it as well. But big chunks of uh, apple in a really sweet, thick syrup. Hmm, very interesting. We'll go ahead and move on to the beverages. We'll start with a lemon energy drink. And you can tell that that's an electrolyte beverage. It has a mild lemon flavor. It's lightly sweetened. It tastes a lot like lemon lime Gatorade, but pretty good flavor. And lastly, the coffee. Again, this is just instant Colombian coffee with about a half a package of sugar in it. And that's not bad at all. It has a little bit of bitterness to it, but not too bad. It's a fairly bold instant coffee, but good flavor. So that was breakfast. Very delightful breakfast items here, especially the muesli was fantastic. So we'll finish this up and we'll move on to lunch. And for lunch, here's what I've chosen. There are two packages of tuna, two different flavors. One is lime and pepper, and one is just plain tuna and water. Also have some peanuts, which are roasted and salted, a package of raisins, Brussels pate, a protein bar, toffee flavored, some peanut butter and the wheat bread, and another energy drink, and this one is peach flavored. So first things first, we'll get the tuna out there. This is the plain tuna in water. And you can see that's a pretty small portion. It really only supplies about 50 calories, being just a 50 gram pouch. But there are two of them, and this one is the lime and pepper flavor. It contains a little bit more calories. There you go, and it does have a strong lime scent to it. Next we have the peanuts, and these are roasted and salted peanuts. And this is the same brand that was in the Swedish ration that I just reviewed. Next there's a package of raisins. And these are golden raisins, it looks like. Next there is a toffee flavored protein bar. There you go. Next a package of Brussels pate, and you can see the ingredients there being pork meat, pork back fat, and pork liver, as well as some seasonings. There's that. And we'll pair that with a leftover biscuit. That'll go well with that. Next, the whole wheat bread by Bridgeford. And this is another similar appearing item to the Swedish ration that I just reviewed. Same brand, same bread. It's nice and soft. Looks very good, and we will use some peanut butter on that as well. There is also a beverage to prepare, and this is the peach energy drink. Nope. And now that I've cleared away the cat, this drink requires 500 milliliters of water. Again, we'll use about 400 to 450. And that is a very large lunch. We'll get started with the main items. The tuna, we'll try both flavors. This is just plain tuna in water. There you go. And this looks pretty typical for a packaged or canned tuna. That's very good. It's a very light fishy flavor, typical of canned tuna, kind of salty, but uh, pretty good. Next we have the one that is flavored, and this is the lime and pepper. You can see some of the pepper there. It's got a little bit more sauce, and I'm thinking that's the lime juice and lime flavoring. And that's also quite good. It's a little bit sweeter. You can pick up a little bit of the lime flavor, and then at the end, there's a little bit of the black pepper spiciness. That's actually very good. I like that. Next, we'll try the peanuts. Again, these are roasted and salted peanuts. 
And those are very good peanuts. They taste very fresh. They're well salted. And they're really salted to the perfect degree. They're not too salty. They're not too bland. Uh, they just have a very good flavor. Next we'll try the raisins. And these are kind of golden appearing raisins. A little bit lighter in color. And those are very good. Sometimes you get raisins that are a little bit dried out, especially as they get older. These are nice and moist, very soft, very good flavor. They would complement the peanuts very well. Try some of those together. Yeah, that's a good combination. The nut raisin mix in the United States MREs does not have any salt in it. And they tend to taste pretty bland and the raisins are pretty dried out. This is actually really nice as far as flavor and texture goes. The saltiness actually brings out the flavor of the raisins pretty significantly. So those are very good. Next, let's try the pate here. And this is Brussels pate. There you can see the texture up close. Use one of those leftover biscuits. And you can see this is pretty finely ground, very soft pate. It doesn't have a very strong scent to it. And that is actually very light in flavor. I was expecting it to be a little bit more salty, but it's very mild. Again, it's a very fine texture. You can pick up the pork flavor to it. It's actually a pretty nice pate, very enjoyable. Next, we'll try the wheat bread. And we've tried this before, and I've tried this brand before, and it's very nice. Kind of tastes like the heel of a loaf of wheat bread. There you can see the texture up close. And that's a nice wheat bread flavor. A little bit sweet. It is very soft and very good texture. And it is fairly moist for a shelf stable bread. It's very nice. Next we'll try some of that with the peanut butter. And I had to spend some time kneading this pretty vigorously. It's pretty hard down here at the bottom. But hopefully we've got it smoothed out a little bit. It is a little bit darker than peanut butter that I'm used to. It looks more like a natural peanut butter. That may account for it being a little bit more settled than it usually would be. It seems to be a little bit thinner than typical peanut butter as well. And that is really nice. It is a really strong natural peanut flavor. It's not sweetened. The texture is a little bit more coarse than typical creamy peanut butter. That's very good peanut butter. Next we have the protein bar and this is toffee flavored. You can kind of see that candy coating on the outside. It's kind of rubbery. Kind of the texture of a power bar. And that has a nice flavor. The texture is fairly dense, a little bit sticky. It's not grainy at all. It has a nice buttery flavor from the toffee. It's it's a pretty good uh, pretty good protein bar. Now moving on to the the last bit, and that is the beverage, and this is a peach energy drink. It has turned a clear orange color. And that's pretty good. I don't pick up as much of the electrolyte flavor. It's a little bit sweeter than the lemon one was. And it has, again, a nice, light, fruity flavor. And that is it for lunch. Very good items. The tuna, the tuna was very good. You could easily slice the bread in half and make a sandwich out of it if you wanted to. That the especially the lime and pepper one would make a good sandwich filling. And all the other items were excellent. Overall, a very good lunch. We'll go ahead and move on to dinner. And for dinner, I've chosen the chicken curry with pasta. I have some spicy sauce to add to that if needed. Some dried cranberries, chocolate bar, the farmhouse pate. To drink, I have cocoa flavored beverage powder and some black tea. So first things first, we'll heat up the chicken curry. This calls for 225 milliliters of water and to allow it to stand for about eight minutes. So there it is in its dry form. And I like these pouches, they have a gusseted bottom there so they actually stand up well when you're rehydrating them. They have a zipper top which makes them easy to reseal. It's just a really well thought out design. We'll add the hot water, give it a stir, be careful to get all the way down into the bottom and into the corners so we don't have any dry spots. Close it back up, we'll set it aside for a few minutes. I do have that spicy sauce that I may add to this. Next is the farmhouse pate, where you can see the ingredients as pork meat and pork liver. 
pretty similar in appearance to the other one. Maybe a little bit stronger scent. And again, we'll pair that with one of the leftover biscuits. There's a package of dried cranberries. There's also a chocolate bar, and unfortunately this one feels like it's been melted and then kind of reformed in the package. So I don't expect this to be in great shape, but we'll take a look anyway. It's not too bad. It looks like it has some blooming on the edges there. It certainly has been melted and reformed. But the scent is very nice. It smells like chocolate. Next we have the cocoa beverage. And you see this one only calls for 200 milliliters of hot water. And I may add a little bit less than that because I don't want to water this down. A lot of these European cocoa beverages are a lot more chocolate and certainly less sweet. They tend to have kind of a dark chocolate flavor and I don't want to dilute that. It has a nice scent. I'll add a little bit less than 200 milliliters of water. And lastly, we have some black tea. Set that aside and let it do its thing. All right, so we've given the main item a few minutes to rehydrate. Let's take a look at it. There you go. You can see the noodles have rehydrated well and the chicken has plumped up pretty significantly. Quite a bit of that creamy sauce. It has a nice, strong curry scent to it. Give that another mix. Actually, it looks like it's rehydrated very well. So we'll start with that. Again, this is chicken curry with pasta. There you can see it up close. Kind of a yellow creamy sauce. Mmm. Yeah, that's very good. It's really not too spicy. It has just kind of a mild curry flavor to it. Let's check out the spicy sauce and see if that would go well in it. Let's see what it is. Yeah, it kind of looks like a sriracha or kind of a chili paste. Put some of that in there that spice it up really nicely mix that together we'll give it another try looks pretty good oh yeah that's very good that transforms that completely that spiciness adds so much to the flavor and that sauce is kind of a sriracha type sauce that is excellent with a little bit of spice. Very, very pleasant. Probably one of my favorite main items that I've tried. Next we'll try this farmhouse pate. And it looks very similar to the Brussels pate from the previous meal. It's a little bit more dense. It's still pretty finely ground. And it's a little bit redder than that other one. It has a little bit stronger scent. And that is pretty good. It does have a stronger flavor, and that's probably from the liver that's in there. It has a higher percentage of liver, and that adds to a little bit more metallic, a little bit stronger flavor, but not bad. Next, we have some dried cranberries. And those are very good. They're lightly sweetened, very nice natural flavor. They taste typical for dried cranberries. Nice flavor. I like those a lot. I'm going to move on to the beverages. First, I'll have the cocoa beverage powder and it is kind of watery it doesn't look like it has a lot of creaminess to it it does have kind of a dark chocolate scent to it mmm yeah that's actually really good it has a really strong dark chocolate flavor very tasty and just for the heck of it I think I will add that other coffee to this make kind of a mocha add that in there let that dissolve meanwhile we'll try the tea And again, this is a black tea. 
And that's not bad. It's, it's kind of a milder flavor black tea, but pretty good. We'll try some of this chocolate bar. And again, this did get melted and then kind of reformed in the package. You can kind of see how it's kind of irregular shape. But the chocolate doesn't look too bad. Actually, it looks like it's still maintained a nice dark chocolate throughout. And it's not bad. It does have a strong cocoa flavor to it. On first bite, it's a little bit waxy. There is some mild sweetness to it, but it's certainly not sweetened very much. It is very true, strong cocoa flavor, so there's probably a high percentage of cocoa, and it's a nice dark chocolate. And we'll finish off by trying that mocha that we made out of the cocoa beverage powder and the coffee. There you go, it's darkened it up a little bit. You can see some of the specks of coffee still in there. Oh yeah, that's really good. That takes the bitterness out of the coffee for sure, and it makes just kind of a nice, strong mocha, and that's really good. So that's the dinner portion of this 24-hour Danish meal, and this ration pack was fantastic to try. Really, every item in here was very, very good. This, again, is probably one of my favorite freeze-dried entrees that I've had before. So to the YouTube viewers and subscribers, thank you very, very much for watching. I appreciate all of your support, and again, your support benefits St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. One of the common questions that I get is where do I get these rations? For the most part, eBay, Amazon are easy places to find United States MREs. eBay is a decent source for some of the international rations. Or you can check out a Facebook page called Rock or Something. And he is actually selling a lot of the harder to find rations. So check that guy's page out. To all of the ration review community, thank you for your support. As well as the folks over on MREinfo.com. You guys are fantastic. So thanks again for watching. Please stay tuned. I have a whole lot more to come. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.